Hi guys, this is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot, and this is your message of the day. Be checkable. We have to hold ourselves accountable for our actions. There is no roadmap to life. And a lot of us, you know, we're reactionary. So we're reacting to the things around us. You have to surround yourself with people that you respect, that equally respect you. So when we do things that, you know, we need to learn from, those people can say, hey, maybe you shouldn't have handled it that way. You know, maybe you need to apologize. And don't be too proud to apologize. Don't be too proud to admit when you are wrong. Allow yourself to be checkable. There is nothing wrong with admitting that you have made a mistake. There is nothing wrong with apologizing when you are wrong. You have to become okay with the idea that you're not perfect and that you're going to make mistakes. And it's not about the mistakes you make, it's about how you learn from those mistakes so that you don't continue to repeat them over and over and over again. You need to get comfortable and get okay with being told when you are wrong and telling people when they are wrong. It is okay to you know, speak up and say, that's not cool. You know, when you have children, you hope that your kids are going to be good leaders. You hope that, you know, you're doing what you can at home to make them into good human beings. And part of that is correcting them when they're doing something wrong so that they don't learn bad behaviors and eventually get into the real world and realize like, whoa, I can't do that. I can't act that way, you know? And when you're surrounded by people that you can't check and that can't check you, people that you don't necessarily respect enough to even hear their opinion, then you're in the wrong room. You need to rethink those friendships or associations because when you're in the right room, respect is always on the table. Accountability is always on the table. And we have to remember that a lot of times it's not even what you say, it's how you say it, how the message comes across. So you can check somebody or be checkable without having to drag somebody for what they did that was hurtful or that you felt like you don't agree with or that was wrong in some way, you know, you can come across with love and make it an opportunity to grow rather than aggression. Because when you come across aggressive, a lot of times that message is not received. That message, that person closes off, they close, they shut down. And when a person shuts down, you're missing an opportunity for growth. You're missing an opportunity that could be a teachable moment. Aggression is usually met with aggression. You know, so if you're frustrated, if you're angry when you, you know, attempt to correct someone and it's not coming from a good place, it's not coming from a, a, a place of love where they can hear you and receive your message, then that person is usually going to equally meet you with aggression or they're going to shut down and not hear the potential in the message that you have. So today I challenge you to hold yourself accountable and the people that you surround yourself with accountable for your actions. Be checkable and apologize when you are wrong. An apology can go a long way, especially when it is supported by changed behavior. And when you are apologizing, make sure that it is coming from a good place and when you are checking someone, make sure that it is coming from a genuine place of love and not a place of aggression or frustration. I love you guys, and I hope that you're loving on yourself. Peace, love, and blessings to you always.